Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Alliance Alive. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we came here. There's a water demon. Or devil, I guess. Who will run away if we decide to pursue him. So, I'm assuming that what we ought to do... Oh wait, those are going to be holes that he's going to be trying to get in and out of. Calling that now. So either I need to plug the holes... ...or very slowly approach him from behind. Or box him in. I got a feeling boxing him in is going to be a little bit harder than I imagine it's going to be. Do, 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 do. Like I'm gonna push him here. He's gonna go through the hole. Oh my, got away. It's no use if we chase it. Let's ch let's catch it by blocking the roots it can use to escape. I mean, great idea. Except one of the things about this is that it seems like all of these areas have you know a place it can run off to if I try to catch it in the middle it'll run off to the side I would think let me try something So if I go here, block that, and if I approach him from behind, it goes over there. I only have the two boxes here. Keep that in mind. I'm kind of assuming that the paths are something... paths here are something like guides that makes any sense like these are the paths most traveled for him and those two down there are just looking down at me like going you know she, she could just pay me and I can you know fix this whole problem for her and I'd be like yes yes you could Silence. Because this way, it's still going to be able to, to escape, isn't it? If we had one more bot. Are you serious here? If we had one more box, I could actually box it in. And theoretically actually catch it off guard. Yeah, see, it's just gonna go down. And it goes to the nearest freaking exit. It makes little sense how the hell this is supposed to work unless I just like absolutely obliterate a hole in one of these. Because it's always got an escape. That's what's bugging me the most, is that because I have the two, unless I like completely corner it, and I do mean in a corner. Dude's got a place to escape to. Unless that's supposed to be the idea. That might... That might actually be the idea. Shut up. Hold up. Hold on. I move it forward.
I then move these two forward. And now quite literally the only way it has to go is a way that I don't think it's supposed to be able to go. Yeah! I'm a genius! Third time's the charm. I caught it! And now we have to fight it to the death. Hmm, it's secured too tightly for us to snatch it away. Looks like its valuables are right next to its skin. That's actually quite prudent. I could learn from that. You could learn from that, madame. Alright, uh, you sorcerer to increase all of your defenses. That seems like a good idea. Stop that. Let's reduce the speed again. Attack level up? For astral armor? I mean, okay. Aqua Caliban. I... I didn't mean to press that button. I actually meant to press the one where I looked at the goddamn opponent. Uh, Water Devil. Alright. That tells me exactly nothing. Because what I wanted to do was, uh... Throw down a fire emission, but I guess we're gonna do some healing instead. And you're gonna give it a beast poke. Oh, so what was this you just learned? After your shot, recalibrate with the angle of sh fire for the point of impact. Increases your own agility and focus. Sweet. What was this one? Attacks an enemy with five consecutive shots that surpa surpass its pressure limit. Neat. I think we're gonna shoot it for now. Ow. I'm glad you learned circle swing. It's a good move. Maybe something that uh, makes it so as the party lives. Because I can thunder a mission. And you are one away from doing that. See, the terrible thing about this party is that it really doesn't have a way to heal itself, save for medicine. It is basically nothing but damage. Cool. Under emission. Vital drain. Shot coordination. Please die. Heck. Okay. Oh, she's got an ignition. And she's got an ignition. I will not lose. Will we not, though? Put your heart and soul into your sword as you stab an enemy. You know what? We can we can pick up more light swords later. And I can't lose, except you don't have the SP for this. Heck, what was this? Strike with the wheel with the steel wings of the power suit. Oh, you do have a. Alright. Heal yourself, though. Oh, come on! That's like five levels of screw you. Okay, the flaming top's pretty cool. Except that was a game over. Heck. I'm not using the goddamn. That was. That was a bullshit fight. That was a bullshit fight, and I want everyone to know that. Oh my god, just skip. I love how it's not actually skip, it's just fast forward through the dialogue. Yes, thank you. We know what to do now. Maybe we can get some sort of additional boon or boost. That'd be great. I mean, really, if I was smart, I would increase everyone's SP back up to full. Don't help or anything, kid. We're only, you know... Trying to catch a water devil. 
Honestly, the astral... The astral armor doesn't feel like it did anything. I thought the whole purpose of it was to increase my defense and... Unless the thing is actually doing way more than a uh, hundred-ish damage. I'm pretty boned in this fight. And that equipment. Junkyard map, I just want to see my healing. Uh, raises defense. Do I... Can I not use... Huh. Well, I'm gonna put another flaming top on you. Another flaming top on you. Snack bar. And a snack bar. I don't have anything to specifically kill water devils either. Okay. I'm not sure. What the hell? One moment, folks. Sorry about that. All right. What do we have here in formations? <sighs> okay. I can start out by just throwing flaming tops at it. Snack bar increases physical defense when eaten. So I think I want to see just how much damage this thing does in the first place. No, not the snack bar. Um. Attack enemies with a sh- Jesus! 50? Why the hell don't I just have an entire party full of shield users? Alright, uh... I'd say Vital Drain, except I want to have taken damage before that, so that. Double tap. Yeah, I feel like the damage variation is so wide sometimes when I get hit. It's just like, okay, why do I bother? And you're still not injured, so that. Uh, another flaming top. Twelve. It's none too reassuring. Alright, so now... Uh, thunder remission. Snack bar. Double tap. Maybe it's because it's a thunder thingy, it does... Hey, double tap leveled up. Hey, kill you the... Vital Drain. Come on, how much damage does this thing possibly do or not have to do that? How much HP can this thing possibly have? That much. I feel a little bit light too. Sea Dragon Eye. Yes, this is it. This is what I was looking for. It seems we've just made some good progress. Is this truly necessary, though? Hey, stop complaining so much, you lapdog daemon. Next up is Blue's Oasis. From here, we should go southwest. If I'm a lapdog, then you are a little shrimp. Ignis, don't be rude to the professor. But madame. But madame.
I think I collected all the treasure that I think was available here. Hmm. Well, I should hit up that good old fashioned resting place and hit up the save point, because. Don't want to fight that thing again. Full honesty. Okay. I wasn't looking at the screen, I was looking at the recording screen. Tee hee. I be stroke? I don't know. I guess more or less is hopeful. Something will arrive. Another flaming top. At least we're finding flaming tops. We don't have to buy a buttload of flaming tops. In. I'm so glad I did figure out that uh, box puzzle though. Now the, not few things suck more than having going. Oh yeah, I'm so smart. I know how to do things, and then being all like, "Oh hey, I don't." <laughs> all right, to the southwest. I think I have to go through this way, anyways. Oh, this is a shortcut. Uh, let's see, it's a shortcut. Dish. Also, I've kind of been meaning to say this for a little bit of time now, uh, but Barbarossa, the lizard dude from the other party, dude gave me very much Breath of Fire 4 art vibes. Uh, anyone that's f familiar with the Aura Dragon or Astral Dragon from Breath of Fire 4, you know what I'm talking about. There's like no point in me not using some of the non-basic weapon stuff, huh? By that I mean like... Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. By that I mean like there's no point in me just slashing anymore. I, I might as well twin spike. Unless the slashing does do less damage. In which case, ow. Let me double check though. Yeah, Twin Spike does 15. Un Passant does 25. But it says both SPs are 2, so he should be able to cast, use Un Passant. I'm butchering that pronunciation, I know. That's Blue's Oasis. I really hate dealing with that guy, but we have to make a stop to get what that thing we need. The architecture isn't bad for a city built by humans. Uh, you talking about that weird pointy building? I don't get how anyone would like something that looks so outdated. Hmm. It's fine that you don't understand. I can't expect a runt like you to share my refined tastes. Ignis, if if demons have testicles, I really hope that someone kicks you straight in them someday. Shut up, you demon doggy. More importantly, we should head over hurry and head over there. Oh, I can't contain myself. Battle! Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so the impassant is 25. Or it's a slash. Maybe that's why this dude's not doing so much damage with his uh, guard spear. Also, cannon. I did not see how much damage she did. <laughs> Bitches love cannons. Impassant. Okay, 24. I don't think that was that much more or less. I don't know. Impassant, level up. Somehow I got a feeling that this uh, blue guy is not going to be all that great. Okay, next up in Blue's Oasis. I wonder if I could find a shower around here. Madame, I deeply apologize for the inconvenience. It's quite alright. I'm the one who wanted to tag along with the professor while the professor does field work. First, we're going to meet Blue, the local boss. Hey, Damon, Mistress, and Butler, hurry up.
Well, I already kind of hate this place. Just judging by the line of individuals there. Ah, yes. Let's go to house. Hi. Hurrah! We're Blue Lord Blue's warriors. My life belongs to Lord Blue. Lord Blue doesn't discriminate between peaceful and humans. He cares for us all equally. He punishes us equally if we disobey, too. You good, bruh? You alright? You fine? Hope so. Only those acknowledged by Lord Blue can become warriors, and if you become a warrior, your water ration goes up. Awesome, right? From the day I was born, I was learning how to fight. I'd never lose to someone who only studies things that aren't fighting. G good, good for you. This war cry is like a magic spell that lifts, fills me with fighting spirits. Okay, but I'm stealing this order, Jim. Oh, talk to dude. You want an audience with Lord Blue? You better not be rude to him. Not if it value your lives. Boy, this Lord Bru Blue sounds like such a charmer. In this world, those who control water have power. Lord Blue wields this influence well. Even though we're the staff that came up with this strategy. This week, there, we're in negotiations with Gear Rock over the price of water. Water is the most valuable commodity, so we can't sell it cheaply. Hey there, Hotshots. I heard all about you from the beast work work for me. Thanks for making use of our junkyard services. We made a pretty penny from you. As long as there is no one of greater worth than that man, I shall swear my loyalty only to him. But should he stray from his righteous path? I mean, that'd be a shame. A veggie sandwich. I oversee medical affairs. Cannot sell spells to outsiders without Lord Blue's authorization. Okay, but I'm a daemon. I, I would kind of almost think that that would, you know, supersede that, but okay. Lord Blue's chamber lie above. Didn't forget anything, did you? Did you remember to use the toilet? <laughs> I mean, I wanted to explore a little bit, but thanks for the warning. Blue, the absolute ruler of Blue's Oasis, resides on the highest floor of the fort. I got a feeling it's going to be one of those, hey, do me a solid, I'll do you a solid sort of things. What do you think of these thin, wafer-like futons that you just spread on the floor? They're damp and cool. The inn's hostility is top-notch. I mean, they look like futons. Can't drink water on an empty stomach, so want a bite? Oh. Sandwich with sliced cucumber filling. Slightly heals HP and raises heat resistance. And then locum. Uh, grain meal cooked down mixed with mashed fruits and then cooled to produce a soft candy. Raises sense. Alright. Neat. A new type of fossil was found nearby. It's a popular attraction and people are really excited about it. Recently, Blue's Oasis has been selling less water for some reason. My guess is that there's some trouble with the waters with the Oasis's water source. Hello, Mr. Chaosium Seller. What do we got? We got Fairy Salve, Classic Sword. Oh man. Sigil Cannon? Ah, oh, I want it all. Sword of Wrath. Embodiment of Rage of the Berserker Deity who regards all of life as its enemy. <laughs> the ultimate weapon of slaughter. Oh no. Zulparniain? Large double axe with glimmering golden blades. It's a symbol of royal authority and strength among those in the Lizardmen tribe. I want. I want. I want. I want. I want 30 bucks to say at the end. That's fine. Really do have to wonder where the hell I can more consistently get, um, what's the it? Chaosium gems. Because I know I'm going to be grinding for them if I have the chance to. Hooray, hooray! Are you Damons? You should know that Blue's word is law here. Even Damons have to obey the law. I feel like if you said that to literally any other Damon, uh, everyone would be dead. 
This is Blue's oasis. Lord Blue rules this fortress, and it's the only oasis in this world. Both peaceful can humans live here. We we'll, we'll welcome all, but we can't guarantee that you'll ever return home alive. See, now that just straight up sounds like a threat. And kids are just going hurrah hurrah. The first floor floor of this world is the pub. There's also a shop at the highest floor. Pub. You're demons. Don't think that the beast folk will obey you forever. At least not in this fort. D -d -d demons I'm not scared of demons anymore. Lord Blue is the hundred times scarier. You know, you say that until he's dead. I started a hot spring bath business in the volcano region to the southeast. We had our premium cocktail oils. The baths, baths are amazing. You simply have to try them out. We're comrades who have sworn our loyalty to Lord Blue. One day we're going to go down fighting for the boss. This is my best friend. Friendship's got nothing to do with being a beast folk or a human. Alright then. Deluxe meat pie. I've played enough Curse of Strahd that this is a terrible idea, but... I know, right? Please buy as many as you like. What What is this signature meat pie here? Slightly heals HP, raises resistance to status ailments when eaten. Neat. I could sell Golden Sands. Wait, what was the shot stabilizer? Uh, boosts power shoots to cycle through precision and blast modes. Oh. Have I completely derped on that the entire time since- How long have I had that? I really wish that the game was a little bit more... ...obvious about things that I have and have not. Just saying. I uh, guess put some medicine in your things. We're going up here, I guess. This ain't no trash. It's a viable pile of scrap that we're taking to the junkyard in the northeast. The junkyard is full of rare scrap that the junk-loving water devil collected. It's a mystery where the water devil found it all, though. Power syrup. We're the junk crew, a crew that collects junk and sell it for a profit to the Gears Rock in the east. Okay, but only if it's good junk. You remember that part, right? We sworn our total loyalty for recognizing our family. If not for this place, beast folk and humans would never be allowed to have families. It's all thanks to Lord Blue. Just stole some locum from them, that's fine. I love mommy, and daddy, and Lord Blue. Hurrah! This is sounding more and more like a cult the more and more I'm going through here. This place is really irritating. All the shop are all the shops like this? I mean weapon shops? Junk shops? Hey. Tell you anything he wants. Jasper's spear. That is a significant upgrade. To the one that uh, Ignis has. I would love to take a junk axe to the other party, but I don't think that's going to happen. What you going to buy and what you going to sell? I don't know. Want some spells? Resist heat. Use a sigil power of the etheract to enhance an ally's heat resistance. Helpful, I'm going to assume. Alright, you... Have a significant upgrade to your weaponry. Alright, drop a quick save because I feel like I'm going to get into a fight. This is the world's only oasis. Lord Blue risks his life to protect it. Oh, such magnificent character and honor. I mean, if you say so. Oh, what an unusual combination of guests. It's been a while, Blue. Well, let's get with the pleasantries. 
I'll get right to the point. I want you to hand over that. Impatient as ever, Diggy. That said, you're talking about my business lifeline. You could say that this oasis only exists because I possess it. I know all of that, so what do you want for it? Let me think. Well, one million soul should do be sufficient. I don't have that money. Now, now, don't tell me you expect me to give it away for free. Give it away for free would be nice, or so I wish, but I know you want something in exchange, you corrupt merchant. Ha ha ha, so you do understand after all. Very well, I have a request for you then. For a while now, a certain monster has made our oasis its den. It's been infested by pests for some time, but the beast in question has been causing us no end of trouble. It's interfering with my bottom line, so please kill it. Monster slaying, that's easy enough. Is it water devil? No, in a sense, it's even more formidable than a water devil. Go take a look. Boy, I love the vagueness of that. Have I seen him somewhere before? He said his name was Blue, right? He seems like he could be a daemon. Just who is he? Hey, you two, we need to get down to the oasis. I guess this is down to the oasis we go. But I'm going to go ahead and save with a quick save because, yes, and call an episode here. When we return, I guess we're going to go to the oasis and deal with the... Oh, hi. Nice, nice pan out. Didn't know that was going to happen. And deal with whatever, you know, monsters. Yes. Thank you, everyone, so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.